Hey everybody, welcome to another video. In this video, I am going to show you all the movies and DVDs I picked up from the Dollar Tree. As everybody knows now that the Dollar Tree has their new movies out for the month of June. And I went by two of the Dollar Trees that I normally go by. And I found some pretty good ones there. I found some Blu-ray and DVD. And it wasn't really as much as I thought it would be this time around. Normally I go and I buy like tons of them from there. But this time around I didn't buy very many of them. I bought probably like maybe like 12 from one and like six, six or seven from another one. So let's see what we got here this time around. This time around, I picked up on Blu-ray, I picked up The Protector 2 with um, Tony Jaw, which I've never seen this one before. I don't even think I've seen the first one, so I'm going to go back and watch that one. One called Nature Calls, which I've seen this on a lot of streaming sites that I go to, but I never watched it. Um, this one right here I've seen everybody talking about is because it's directed by Bobcat Goldblatt. It's called God Bless America. Um, they actually had season, I got this last time, series six, part one of this, which is Doctor Who, which is series six, part two. So I lucked out finding that one there since I already got the part one last time. Um, I got this one right here called Seeing in the Dark. I really like a lot of these, like, documentaries like this. Really fun to watch. Um, this right here, believe it or not, this is just the, the Blu-ray of there. Well, this was a used copy. Um, Dollar Tree, I saw this in a few other people's videos, but the Dollar Tree are actually selling used used Blu-rays now and DVDs. So, But they're marked on there saying they're used, though. So I got this Blade Runner 2045, which I've never seen this before. So let's see if it's any good like everybody says it is. Um, I found this one right here, Survival of the Dead. It actually has the slip cover with the lenticular come cover to it, which is pretty cool. It's not one of the best George Romero zombie films, but it was, it was really good to watch. The next up is Officer Down. I had this on DVD, so I upgraded to Blu-ray for it. So before that, which I think about, I paid like I think I paid five bucks for the DVD from Big Lots a couple of years ago, but this was a dollar. So I gotta get. I'm just gonna upgrade. I know everybody upgrades every once in a while. Um, movie called Skin Trade with Tony Jaw and Dolph Lundgren in there. I've never even heard of this, but I noticed on the back of it it actually has Ron Perlman in it too. So I'd be worth watching. Okay, let's go to the DVDs I picked up. I picked up the remake of The Stepfather, which I don't think I've seen this one right here. Um, this one has Dylan Walsh playing the original character, and the in the original Stepfather films it was Terry O'Quinn from Lost, which I like the original Stepfather film, so I look forward to watching that one there. Uh, this one's called Bring Me the Head of the Machine Gun Woman. I've never even heard of this, and I haven't even watched the tra I didn't watch a trailer for it or anything yet. But it just looks like it's gonna be one of those cheesy little action films. Uh, there's space from, it's, I think it's, um, it's Spanish, it's Spanish audio, Spanish language on here, so, I, I don't know what, I don't know, it ought to be pretty cool. If, it, if it's anything like a Robert Rodriguez film with a lot of shooting in there and guns and everything, it should be fun to watch. Um, R.L. Stein's Mostly Ghostly. I don't know which one this is. I've got one of these before. And I don't recognize any of these people in here. But the last one I got was um, Girlfriend or something like that. Some I, I can't remember which one it was. It's been a while since I got that one. But I don't know, it's R.L. Stein, so it should be fun to watch. It was a dollar. You, you can't beat. I don't know why everybody gripe. Oh, it's a it's a, it's a DVD. It's a dollar to Dollar Tree. Uh, this is called Epicenter. It's got Tracy Lords in it, Gary Daniels, and Jeff Fahey. Uh, but it's also got seven bonus movies, and the seven bonus movies are Slipstream, 
which I've seen before with Bill Paxton and uh, Mark Hamill in it. Really cool little sci-fi film. To Survive, The Chain Reaction, Militia, The Day the Sky Exploded, Escape from Alaska, and Fire, Fire from Below. Which I think out of all these, Slipstream was the only one I've ever seen. So I'm going to check those out. This one right here I picked up is called Werewolves of the Third Reich. I'm just looking forward to see how cheesy the effects are in this. Um, this here is called The Car. Road to Revenge, Unra Revenge Unrated. This is a sequel to the original movie called The Car. Um, I don't know if this is any good or anything. So, mm, um, Shark Island. I've seen this before. But I can't remember. But I swear it's under a different name. I think I see it on the Asylum channel on, two, on, on Pluto TV. But I want to say it's under a different name. Um, this one here is called Ava's Possession. Possessions. It's one of those pose uh, possession exorcism movies. You know, those are pretty fun to watch sometimes. <clears throat> but I don't know what this one's about. I do recognize one one person in the film, but I cannot see... their name on here. So... <sighs> Let's see. Um, this one right here. John dies at the end. I have a Blu-ray copy of this already, but I want a DVD copy of it, just so I can watch it anytime I want to. So I had to go searching for my DVD. I mean, my Blu-ray. So I had to DVD to watch anytime I want to. But this is a cool movie. Um, I recommend reading the book first if you've never read the book to it. The book is extremely, extreme, extremely fun to read. And the movie is really condensed to me. But it's good to see the characters in live action mode. I like to see some more of these done. Or at least I do a total reboot of it. Since there's like quite a few books now with the series. But I do recommend getting that one. This is one I wish I could find on Blu-ray. I know there's a Blu-ray out there. Children of the Dollar Tree. It's called Trick. Now, this was a really good horror film. It really was. Um, the Omar Epps was in it. Tom Atkins. Um, it, it, Jamie Kennedy was in it. But it was a really good It was a really good horror flick. And if you find it, you know, get it at the Dollar Tree. You know, it's a dollar. You know, it's really good. You'll you enjoy it a lot. I really did. Next up is, I picked this up at one because I didn't know there was a Blu-ray out It's storage. I found a Blu-ray. It's Protector 2 on DVD, which I probably end up giving this to somebody. I'm not really sure yet. Um, this one I've seen before a long time back called Vanishing on 7th Street. It's got um, John Leguizamo with it and Hayden Christensen. It's, it's kind of weird, like apocalyptic type movie. Like, I can't remember the basis of it. I think like everybody like is disappearing and like essentially was like if they get into this like certain part of the darkness they disappear. Really weird movie. But it was fun to watch too. This one here has Tom Hiddleston in there who plays Loki. It's called High Rise. I've never even heard of this movie. But I look forward to watching it though. He's he's a really good actor. And I really enjoy his stuff he does. I really enjoy seeing him back playing Loki now. That was really good. So hopefully I can't wait till like episode 3 to come out. I think it's next Wednesday when it drops. But it's only a 6 episode series. So that's what's kind of disappointing about most of these Disney Plus series. They're not very long. They're like 6 to six to 8 episodes. Hopefully they'll fix that soon. This one here is a, I guess a zombie film called Dead Sight. I've never seen this before, but I remember seeing this, I think, on, um, I think Tubi TV has had this on their streaming site at one time, but I never watched it, but I picked this one up from there. That wasn't very much on the um, Dollar Tree movies this time around. It was some pretty good ones. You know, I'm pretty sure some of them are going to be hit and miss on there, but I look forward to watching all of them. 
and hopefully next time they have another Dollar Tree sale, hopefully they'll do one next month, um, I'll be able to find a whole lot more than I did this time. But that's it for this video. I hope you enjoyed watching it. If you like what you see, hit the like button. And once again, if, you, if you're subscribed, thank you so much for subscribing. If you come across this video and you're not subscribed and you like what you see, please hit the like button and subscribe. And I'll see you in the next video.